Hello everyone, it's me again, Chris. And this is uh, video instruction set number four for the ramp mod for the Diego Stini Millennium Falcon. Let's get this started. All right, I did fast track some stuff. I glued, and you should too, the inner rings inside the curved ramp corridor as such. They sit in here, centered. If I can focus a little bit. Yes, I can. Fantastic, dressed in plastic. All right. Make sure that you, when you uh, CA glue these parts in, that they are centered between the two cushions and sit inside the saddle, if you will, on both sides. I also took a uh, free license to add Tony RR's little light scones as shown here, here, and here. Uh, I used three of them. Uh, you can get them from Tony RR. Got a lot of spares. So I fast tracked this and glued everything together looks awesome so far I love it I like it and this will work trust me alright moving on to the next step after we glue this all together we want to pay attention to the ramp ceiling we want to add and glue this part in this is the motor mount now I have released revision 10 and realized that one of the lower braces on the motor mount would not clear this particular piece. So for those who have version 10, just simply cut out this lower brace here and it will fit. So let's glue that in place, shall we? The super glue, CA glue. <laughs> uh, do not paint this part. It's uh, for mechanical purposes only. And we got four relief points uh, up over here. One, two, three, four. And we're just going to add a little uh, CA glue inside there. A little dab will do you. And fix that piece right in there. Alrighty then. Now the angle faces forward towards the lug light as such. And we'll just uh, seat this in nice and proper. And give it about 10 seconds to set up. All right, we're wondering, uh, what is this all about? Is this a lunchbox carrying handle? What is this thing? Really? I mean, is this guy insane or what? Whoever designed this is a whack job. Swear to God. Well, truth be told, it is for the LED light strip that comes with the kit. Peel off the tape and set it centered right above the hole right here. And I'll just do that right now since this is pretty much set. Wow, 3M backing tape is so awesome to take off. Stand by. Stay tuned for more. All right. Let's get this bugger off. Wow. This is bedding sitting in my storage for a little too long, or this is just a pain in the butt. Don't want to break the 
metal contacts of the wiring, so yeah. Mm, um, I'll cheat. Ah, no, I'm gonna get you. I'll get you. I'll get you. So, anyways, I digress. There is a method behind my madness each and every time. Huh. There we go, Roy. And we will take the strip, LED strip that was meant for the bottom part of the ramp down here. No, we're moving it. And that's what this uh, so-called lunchbox handle is used for. So simply line it up and whack it right in place. And let it stick. Just like this. It is flexible somewhat. I've got the frosted ultra detail version. And it still sticks. So now we've got light shining down into the ramp, into the ramp corridor section. And that is awesome. All right. Video 5 will include assembling the curved corridor to the ramp hallway sections and whatnot, as well as installing the end caps and the curved corridor floor, which has optional LED lighting, as you can see here. All right, guys. Thanks for watching. Stay tuned for more. All right, bye.